Hi everybody, what's up? This is Mike Wyatt, Safe Drummer Magazine. I have Remy Serafino from The Mighty Igor with me today. Hi everyone. So my first question, uh, how's the tour been going so far? Uh, it was a absolutely fire, very good tour, uh, really good audiences in all the cities. Uh, a bit tired now because this is the almost the last show of the tour, but uh, it's a great experience so far. Yeah. Really good turnout. So what would you say was one of your favorite uh, venues or one of the favorite shows uh, so far? Favorite shows? Uh, Montreal was really, really fire. Uh, New York, we, play, uh, we played at Irving Plaza, which is a legendary venue, so I'm very glad to, to be here. And um, uh, Denver, Denver was a really good city too. And uh, yeah. So. I, I noticed last night you guys had uh, Travis Ryan out there, and I saw yeah, uh, sure. Corpse Grinder yeah. out there, and then uh, one of my buddies from Unidad drum actually too, hanging out with you guys. So I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> So um, do, uh, tell me, have you uh, any recent endorsements, or who are you endorsed by? Like uh... I'm endorsed by Pearl for the drums, Sabian for the cymbals, and Cupman Music, which is a, a German uh, brand uh, for the drumsticks, which are uh, carbon drums. Drumstick. Oh, carbon yeah. drumsticks. Oh. Yeah. So uh, yeah, in five B. Five B. Really solid. Really, uh, really. Um, uh, no, it doesn't. Um, I don't know how to say it in English. Um, they don't whittle down. They're they're, no, they're, they're made from carbon. No, they're, they're made from carbon, and um, oh, wow. they're not um, uh, not like crushing, but uh, the, um, the the drum stick stays clean uh, night after night. You know, you That's don't awesome. have the um, the area of the rim shot usually gets with a lot of wood uh, and everything. But uh, but with dusty, I'm pretty happy. So so yeah, I'll have to check those out sometimes. Yeah. Um. So tell me, how did you land this gig? How did this all happen? Um. I replaced Sylvain, the original drummer from Igor, uh, because uh, he had a baby in August, a very young little girl. So uh, he wouldn't be able to come on the tour with a, a little girl it's like two weeks. Understand? Yeah. yeah. So be there for the family. Uh, so I replaced him. Replaced him for this tour. And uh, you should come back uh, for this winter. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome! But uh, yeah, it's a great experience. For me. Yeah, yeah you're, you're you're doing a really good job because I've been watching the videos every night, yeah, counting down you. the days. <laughs> thank you so, very much. So tell me, uh, uh, how do you feel about like? Do you ever do? Do you rehearse doubles? Like your your techniques? Like, uh, uh, do you do doubles? Are you more into single foot uh, double bass when you play? Uh, in Igor, um, there's not so much extreme tempos. Like the fastest, fastest will be 200, I think, on uh, Parpin. The so you can do nice with, heavy singles, heavy hits. Yeah, but the the, um, the song with uh, George Fisher from Cannibal Corpse, Parpin. Uh, yes, it's it's say Parpin, not Parpain, it's not Parpin, Parpin, which means uh, brick in English. Um, it's the fastest song that we have, and uh, so yeah, blast beat, but 200 BPM, so one foot, and I swivel on the foot to keep the tempo, you know. Oh, nice. Yeah, I count. Uh, Every every hit um, uh, inwards in the is the one is on the on the time so one two three four one two three four you know? nice. so I do that on the blast beat to keep like um, I, I like the the sensation of uh, a train you know uh, and with the with the swivel I, I have this feeling which is like you know um, a bit of a Mueller to so the Mueller technique uh, when you go on. On the right, like that. Yeah, you you yeah. have you don't go every hit, so you accent. And I think at the foot, it's it's the same thing. You, so you, you, do, you kind of do the, the no, no fingers at all. You will see I'm only wrist. Only wrist. Well. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no. Oh, that's uh, old school. Only yeah, wrist that's to, to have a, a lot of power, but um, I don't think I'm really um, helped with my fingers. I'm not so um, um, comfortable with this. So uh, wrist, wrist, arms, and uh, power. Nice. Yes. So uh, tell me, if you weren't a drummer, what would you want to be for an alternative career? Um, I think I would have been uh, maybe an illustrator, because uh, I, I used to draw a lot in school, at school, yeah. So, yeah, uh, like um, um, art, you know, still art, art, but not music, maybe, but uh, yeah, graphic designer, or, uh, yeah. And what would you say? Uh, Something you want to do, like bucket list, that you haven't done yet, that you want to do, either musically oh. or whatever. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm only 25, so I always, I, I've always dreamed of going to the U.S. and to do a tour, and I'm doing a tour in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's great. Yeah. So you're getting uh, it. So for now, uh, I'm just really happy. Uh, like that, maybe I don't know a stadium, like a huge venue, a huge arena, would be a dream. Yeah. 
but uh, I'm already really, really happy with uh, what I've accomplished. Yeah, yeah. yeah it looks like uh, you guys have almost been selling out. Most of the shows look like they're selling out. Yeah, a lot, a lot of shows. But you know, the, the tour was booked uh, like three years ago, so a lot of people expect us a lot. Uh, so yeah, a lot of, a lot of venues sold out, which was really, really a pleasure. Yeah. I wanted to go to the one in LA a few years back, but I yeah. wasn't able to make it, and I even had tickets of like my vehicle broke down. I was so sad. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, so now, uh, now, now you're here. Heck yeah, yeah, my dude. So, uh, for all the people that are um, like all the younger drummers, what kind of advice will you give the drummers as far as like practice techniques? Um, uh, yeah, you know, for all the aspiring kids out there, you know. Yeah, sure. Um, you know, um, a lot of sub subjects of the, the double bass, the blast beat, the endurance. Uh, the only thing is discipline. I think for me that that worked, and uh, you have to to still um, take pleasure when you play. Um, I don't do exercises like um, you're not doing um, uh, workout heavy workouts when you you're working. You can just do put on a metronome and do 10 minutes of single stroke without thinking of it. You you're far more uh, efficient if you do like five minutes but you're reconnecting with your wrist really focusing on the sensation on the how do you sound uh, is every hit uh, regular uh, the same uh, volume you know everything like five minutes of this is way more efficient than 30 minutes of and you're watching uh, something and you're thinking of, about uh, something else when you play so yeah discipline but like you have to, to put on the, on the path you know, I think when you're, when you're playing and always play with, with patient, um, you know, um, if you make a, a mistake, uh, it's not important, but if you play with that patient, it's really, uh, that's important to the patient. Not so much the performance, but if you give, if you put heart in what you're doing, then you're doing well. Yes, I've noticed some people, some drummers are like, they, they practice almost every day, like four or five mm -hmm. hours a day, and then I notice some We'll practice it like like me i'll play like three times a week for you know yeah half hour 40 minutes if i'm not rehearsing with my band and then yeah yeah you know, when sure. i rehearse I, you know a couple hours whatever it's like well how long would you say that uh, how many times when you're not on tour consistently not on tour it's every night but um oh four five days maybe um a week like two or three hours uh, i used to play a lot a lot when i was in high school on the weekends i play like seven or nine hours a day but uh, yeah, that's pushing yourself uh, right there. That's <laughs> when I, I try to to understand the you know That'll the swivel version and, almost, and almost uh, yeah, burn dou double <laughs> kick yeah. And um, but for now I, I like to to do other things and to to live other things because I think to to put something personal in your playing you have also to to experience life. You can just be um, a technique creature, you know. But if you have nothing to put in your drums in your in your drumming, it means nothing so yeah two hours three hours and go out uh, travel uh, meet people experience yeah who were some of your main drumming influences um, a lot of French guy actually uh, Mario Duplantier from uh, Gojira uh, Frankie Costanza from Dagoba um, on the on YouTube I discovered Krim Lechner Krim from Celtic Flesh oh. and uh, yeah okay. um, and uh, yes, yeah, so that, that's my kind of drumming, you know, powerful, uh, like not so fast. Um, in really fast drummers, I, I love Inferno from Behemoth. I find uh, that he, he composed his drum parts very well, very uh, the orchestration, and he used the chinas and the bells and the cymbals as drums too. So yeah, um, big fan of, of Inferno. Yeah, he and Dominator both were really Yeah, Dominator yeah, for, for the technique and the, 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 tom, uh, the, the, the tom power. Uh, yeah, crazy. 280 BPM Tom. Yeah, <laughs> uh, just crazy, crazy. I don't know how he, he does that, but crazy. And uh, so yeah, maybe uh, more rock and roll drummers like Chad Smith from the Red Dots, Nico McBrain from Iron Maiden. Um, yeah, Jeff Gore, definitely. John Bannam, you know, Ringo Starr. I'm a big fan of Ringo Starr, actually. Uh, yeah, I think he have the greatest ideas. Very simple, but always, uh, always the right ideas, and so yeah, I like this uh, this philosophy of drum too. Okay, well, in closing, is there anything you'd like to say to your fans, uh, aspiring drummers? You know, uh, I think uh, I already said that. Play with yeah. patience, and um, 
and uh, listen to maybe a lot of, of, uh, of music and different genres you, you have to keep on, on searching for something something new um, like when, when I started the drums I discovered Mario Duplantier uh, uh, Krim Lechner from Sacred Flesh and etc but like two or three years ago I, I think I rediscovered the instrument with uh, Jamie Samera from Ulcerate I don't know if you know uh, Jamie Saint Merat the Australian guy you're so right. Very talented yeah, drummer. Yeah, yeah, a beast, a beast. Um, he does fills and and break and everything with a lot of uh, hi hat and um, almost jazzy, uh, you know, j jazzy sound. And so um, I was like blown away because a lot of, of fills in metal or um, the partner, you know, tak tang tak tang tak tang that death metal with a lot of notes. He's playing on the hi hat, the bells, the very. Um, um, Based in time, like so the I think for him the the one two three four doesn't mean nothing. Like the snare is not the backbeat. The snare is whenever you want. And uh, yeah, so it's very uh, impressive. And Ushiret is, is like a, a technical death metal band. So uh, he puts that in in some uh, complicated um, uh, composition and, and music, etc. So yeah, and uh, Eloy Casagrande too. From yeah, uh, he's really a, old. Yeah, that guy's a heavy a huge influence right for, for the power from the you know the the samba thing and the, the Latin thing he puts in the drumming so so really tasteful in Sepultura but I think it's uh, it's one of the ideas to put in the, in the drums you know to to bring things out of just blast beat and metal and it depends on your band because if you have a, a raw black or true black metal bands you won't do a samba like sure. But um, but I like to explore other things and um, and yeah discover other things in other uh, genre of music. Yeah, it's very important to have like the ferocity and the speed and the brutality. Yeah, but you got to have some groove in there. You can't. The bands are just constantly blast. You know, it, it's cool. No, you have to. Yeah, but it's talented. But it's like you know, gotta have oh, that groove. Gotta get the people moving. You know, it's uh, it depends. I, I love Marduk, the black metal band. Oh, yeah. Marduk is uh, is about only blast beats. Yeah, yeah. Panzer <laughs> Division is one of my. With album, uh, album uh, all, all time, um, but that's the that's the purpose I think to do uh, an album with only blast beats. So yeah, but in <laughs> now if every band does does that, it doesn't mean nothing. nothing. So yeah, and uh, that's why I like Mario too, uh, extreme stuff, but heavy and some uh, tasteful. You know, in uh, L'Enfant Sauvage, on the from the verse the really tasteful nobody nobody uh, I love uh, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> right on this has been such a killer interview thank you so much thank you it's very so honored to work with you guys tonight like this is a privilege yeah so I'm very happy thank you I uh, Sick Drummer Magazine bye <laughs> heck yeah